What's up, I'm Carl G. Richter of eLearning Blends, and in this blend, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use the Articulate Rise Scenario Block. Uh, this is a really pretty cool tool. It gives you a way to add a little bit of story into your eLearning course. Now, uh, I've been doing, uh, I've done other videos on this as well, but in today's video, I wanna show you how easy it is to actually build something that is a branch. So this project is an is training for eth employee ethics and code of conduct training. Uh, so we have a number of different resources and uh, here under gratuities and favors, we show a little bit of the policy and then we get down into this block. Now let me show you how I've customized it. So we have someone that says, let's customize it for you and they have multiple locations. So uh, I can go ahead and pick the main office and she says, okay, we'll take you to the main office. Now at the main office, I've got, uh, you can tell I went to Google, Google Maps and I just took a screenshot of the, uh, the street view and I put it so that we feel like we're actually at the main office. So if you've ever been there, that's the same parking lot I park in all the time. He's giving us a little bit of a prompt and then he's saying, okay, so we're, we're telling the story here of what it is. Uh, in this demo, I've stripped out all of it just to share, but then we go on to a new location. So again, street view, now we're talking about, uh, this is the uh, water treatment plant, and then this third location. So I'm using different characters, I'm using different locations, so that we're telling these different stories and people understand that, hey, for these different roles, we're actually able to customize it so that if you pick main office, you're gonna go to the main office, and then you can go through and uh, make these kinds of choices. We're confronted with the things that we didn't know. Oh, I didn't know that. So let me show you how I did this. Okay, so here we are in Rise, and you'll see that Rise actually supports different scenes. That's the whole, <laughs> the, the whole takeaway here, is that you wanna use this Add Scene button. So each scene allows you to go in, and you can edit the background, edit the character. So when we go to scene two, I've got the same character. Scene three here, I've got my man at the central office. Scene four, scene five, you get the idea. So you can go through. Now, uh, one of the things that, that you'll want to do if you're doing these scenario blocks is you'll have choices for dialogue and then you'll also need text. Uh, so text is where you're able to provide the feedback. So uh, it's actually quite simple. Uh, one of the things that you want to do here for customizing it, you'll see here that instead of just going to next in scenario, you can have them jump to these different scenes. So main office is scene three, central maintenance facility is scene five, and the treatment center is scene four. That's the big mystery of how to do this. Uh, once you get the handle of that, it really is quite nice. You can go through and I can actually make it so we can have them do just one scenario and then jump to the end. If you have a wonderful imagination, Rise is not going to be able to live up to it. Storyline is much more powerful and there's a lot more that you can do with it. However, Storyline can also slow you down a little bit. So if you're looking to get a lot done in a short amount of time and really make an impact and tell the story, uh, Rise is a good tool for that. So let me show you one more example. This is something that I did for uh, physicians and in the world of physicians and compensation is a big no-no to say, hey, Dr. X brings in Y amount of revenue. Uh, so rather than just having a quiz about that, we're trying to tell a story. So this Rise block, if you work in healthcare and are interested in this, reach out and let me know. I'd be happy to share this with you. It is a little tricky in Rise, so I can't just put up a link, but I will share this. Uh, so we set up the stage here. We have 72 million in referrals. Somebody mentions that. So we're telling the story now. You're at work, you're checking your email. Okay, that sounds like me. And you get a message from someone who includes a joke about the money that they make from a physician. So he's trying to be funny, but it could be poorly in an audit. What could you do now? So this is basically still a multiple choice quiz question that says, who do you contact in case of it? But we're adding a story to it so that you can make a bit of an emotional connection and you can say, okay, what would I want to do? So for this one, I have those choices set to just try again. So if you do that, that's not the best answer. You do this, that's not the best answer. And then if you finally talk to legal or compliance, then she says exactly. Now, I'm a big fan of Michael Allen and the CCAF model. That F stands for feedback. 
And I really think that's where the learning happens. You get someone thinking through a particular context and give them the different challenge. And then this feedback is really what's going to drive it home. So there in Rise, what I'm doing with that is just choosing, you have two choices. You have dialogue and you have text. So just text for your feedback. And uh, it really is something that makes me happy, it brings me joy, and is a, a quick way of adding in some intrigue and get those mental wheels turning, get that gee, I'm actually thinking kind of moment. Using the Articulate Rise Storyline Block, it is another great day here at eLearning Blends, and I hope this is a great tool that you can add to your toolkit.